Hey guys, so in this tutorial I'm going to show you how Java Docs work and Java Docs basically are a way for Java to generate an HTML documentation of your source files. And for an example of this would be something like when you're looking f online for an API. So I have here the scanner class and as you can see we have all this information on it and we can also see something like the constructor summaries, uh, the main methods, um, what kind of type it returns and yeah so that's for a scanner class and you can make that for your own class so in order to first declare your Java doc you want to place the slash star star or the asterisk and then you want to place a star slash at the end and although you might see it in this form right here where there's stars in the middle it really doesn't matter this statement here is pretty much the same thing as this statement here besides the obvious the uh, words being different here but we're not paying attention to that right now okay so the first sentence in the Java doc is going to be the summary and then one thing really cool about Java docs is you can embed HTML modifiers so if you want to separate paragraphs you can write these uh, p tags and if you want to italicize you can write the m tags as well as uh, bold for the uh, strong tags and you can even put in an image if you want, which is pretty neat. However, you might want to stray away from the heading rules as they can interfere with the layout of the published page. Now for class comments, we want to place them right after the import statement. And we want to use tags to describe any parameters we have and they're followed by an at symbol. So we can have an at author, which describes the author's name. And we can also have the at version, which describes the version of when the code was updated and so here's an example it's a car object with a very brief description with the at author and at version so we have our public class here car here and the code would go right between these braces now for constructor comments we want to have the at param which is for parameter and it tells you the argument name as well as a brief description so if we want to pass in the string color to construct our car, we have a at param color and then the color of our car. Now for method comments, there's much more you can do. So there's the at param, which we just saw. There's the at return in case it's a non-void function. And there's a throws an exception parameter in case your method throws an exception object. So here's just an example for you to look at. And for any field comments that are public static, you want to have just a brief description of what it is. And lastly, you can use the following on all types of documentations. There's the at since, which is since when it was, um, since when that method or variable was introduced. There's the at deprecated, which means this method or variable is no longer used and you should avoid it. And there's also at C, which is useful if you want to reference the user for another documentation. All right, so once you've created all your Java docs in your Java file, so let's say I did all that for the car class I was talking to you about, then you want to first create a directory so that all your Java doc files that get generated can move into there. And then you want to run this javadoc command, and then you want to send everything that gets generated into your new directory, and then put in your class name, and it'll generate. So after that's generated, you want to put, you want to go into your directory, and then you want to open your car.html, and there you go. There's your javadoc for your class right there.